Hello friends, welcome to our grade 7 mathematics program. Today's lesson will be on the chapter percentage. Let us have a look at what we will be learning in today's session. So we will learn what is meant by percentage, how to convert percentage into fraction, or how to convert fraction into percentage. You will also learn how to convert a decimal number into percentage, and then how to convert a percentage into a decimal number. Finally, we will be working with percentage and a few word problems. Now, I'm sure you must have come across the word percentage. Percentage is something which we see in our daily life. Let us have a look at the different daily situations where we might have come across percentage. So I'm sure when you go to the shop or to any shopping mall, you must have come across these signs. 10% discount on any article or even 30% discount. Or sometimes when there are sales, there is 25% discount. Similarly, while we go for our shopping expeditions, we come across what we call the value added tax, VAT. We pay 15% tax on any product that we buy. Now, suppose I want to build a house and I'm going to ask for a loan at the bank. I will have to pay an interest of, let us say, 12%. So this is in percentage. Similarly, when we consume any product on the back of the box, we have different labels. For example, here, for the milk, we have 0% fat. So we have seen some of the different situations where we find percentage in our real life. Now, what is meant by percentage? So the word percent, per means out of, while cent means 100. So percent means out of 100. Percentage is in fact another way of writing fractions with a denominator of 100. This is something which we're going to come across throughout this chapter. Percent 100. So instead of writing a fraction in this form, we can make use of percentage. This is the symbol that we are going to use for percentage. For example, 5% is read as 5%. This symbol, we read it as percent. Now, this 5% is in fact equal to 5 over 100. Now, I'm sure at the primary level, you must have come across the 100 square grid. So here, Five small squares are shaded, and this represents 5%. That is 5 out of 100. In the second case, 28 squares are shaded. That is 28 out of 100 squares are shaded, which represents 28%. Now, we are going to look how to convert percentage into fraction. Remember, earlier I mentioned that percentage is same as 100 fraction with a denominator of 100. So to convert a percentage into a fraction, we are going to change the symbol percentage to a denominator of 100. Let us take an example. Convert the following percentages to fractions reduced to their lowest terms. So these are the four different parts which we're going to look at. The first one was 8%. Remember the symbol percentage means a denominator of 100. So 8% is going to be equal to 8 over 100. Now in the question we have been asked to reduce it to its lowest terms. So now we are going to simplify and get 2 over 25. That is, I have divided by 4 
both in the numerator and in the denominator. Part B was 35%. So 35% is same as 35 over 100. And reducing it to its lowest term, we get 7 over 20. Now for part C, 125% is same as 125 over 100, which when reduced to its lowest term is equal to 5 over 4. I can leave my answer as 5 over 4, or I can also write it as a mixed number, that is 1 1 quarter. Now for the last part, 33 1 third percent. So you can see here we have a mixed number. So what I'm going to do first is convert this mixed number into an improper fraction. That is 33 times 3, 99 plus 1, 100 over 3 percent. Now I have to convert this symbol percentage as a denominator of 100 in my fraction. So it's going to be 100 over 3 times 1 over 100, which is going to give me 1 third. So we have learned how to convert percentage into fractions. Now we are going to learn how to do the reverse process, that is, how to convert a fraction into a percentage. So to convert a fraction into a percentage, we have to multiply it by 100%. This symbol percentage is very important. You should multiply by 100% and not just by 100. Let us take an example. Convert the following fractions into percentages. So you've got four parts again. Let us have a look at the solution. So for part A, I had two fifths. To convert it into percentage, I need to multiply it by 100%. So 2 fifths times 100%. So I'm going to cancel out 5. I divide by 5 and this is equal to 40%. Please bear in mind that I'm converting a fraction into percentage. So please do not forget to write the percentage symbol. This is very important. Part B. 5 over 8, so I multiply it by 100% to convert it into a percentage. Again, I simplify and I obtain 125 over 2%, which is an improper fraction. So I can convert it into a mixed number to get 62.5%. Part C, 13 over 70. So to convert 13 over 70 into percentage, I will have to multiply by 100%. Again, I'm going to cancel out the common factors and I get 130 over 7, which is equal to 18, 4 over 7%. Now for the last part, 2 3 quarter. So here we have a mixed number. I'm going to convert it to percentage, so I have to multiply by 100%. But first, I convert the 2 3 quarter into an improper fraction, that is 11 over 4. And multiply by 100% to convert it into percentage. And this gives me 275%. So we have so far looked at how to convert a percentage into fraction and then how to convert a fraction into a percentage. So we now move to the next part of the lesson, that is working with percentage. Let us take an example. Express the following into percentages. So we have three different parts. Let us have a look at the solution. Part A, 12 out of 48. So I have to find the percentage of 12 out of 48. So it's going to be 12 over 48 
times 100 percent I repeat you need to take into consideration this symbol you have to write the symbol percentage while working out this question so after simplification I get 25 percent in other words 12 out of 48 is same as 25 percent that is it is representing 25 percent now 150 grams out of 3000 grams so it's going to be 150 over 3000 times 100 percent so I'm going to simplify and obtain 5 percent now for the last part let us look at this carefully 30 centimeters out of 20 meters so what is different in this part is that we have two different units 30 centimeters and 20 meters so for me to be able to convert this I need to have the same units on both sides so I'm going to convert 20 meters into centimeters now I'm sure you will remember that one meter is equal to 100 centimeters so 30 over 20 times 100 this 20 times 100 is just to convert the meter into centimeters and then because I have to convert into percentage I multiply by 100 percent so after simplification I get one and a half percent so one very important thing that you have to bear in mind while working out such type of questions is that both numbers should be in the same unit we are now going to have a look at how to convert a decimal number into percentage remember just like we did for fractions converting fractions into percentage we had to multiply by 100 percent so similarly here we will have to convert a decimal number into percentage by multiplying the decimal number by 100 percent let us have a look at this example convert the following decimal numbers into percentages so we have three different parts let us look at the solution so the first one was to convert 0 0.4 into a percentage so we have to multiply 0 0.4 by 100 percent now I'm sure you will recall that if I have to multiply a decimal number by a multiple of 10 I need to count how many zeros I have and move the decimal point by so many zeros to the right so here I'm going to move the decimal point to 2 places to the right because 100 has two zeros so this is going to give me 40 percent so 0 0.4 is same as 40 percent now 3.2 for part b so to convert 3.2 into a percentage i will have to multiply it by 100 percent so again in 100 I have two zeros so I will have to move the decimal point by two places to the right one two so I add a zero here and this gives me 320 percent for the last part 0 0.175 so to convert it into decimal I multiply by 100 percent so here again I will have to move a decimal point to two places to the right one two so this gives me as answer 17.5 percent so once we have seen how to convert a decimal number into a percentage now we are going to do the reverse process that is we are going to convert a percentage into a decimal number so remember just like for fractions when we had to convert a percentage into fractions we were dividing by 100 so here as well we are going to divide by 100 
to convert a percentage into a decimal number. Let us take one example. Convert the following percentages into decimal numbers. So we have four different parts. We now look at the solution. The first one, 20%. So to convert 20% into a decimal number, I'm going to write it as 20 over 100. Remember we learned earlier that the symbol percentage is same as a denominator of 100. So we have 20 over 100. Again, I'm dividing by 100. So we have two zeros and here I have to move a decimal point to two places to the left because I'm dividing. So the answer is going to be, to be 0 0.2. 125% to be converted into decimal. So I write it as 125 over 100. And I have to move a decimal point to two places to the left. And this gives me 1.25. Part C, 2.75% is same as 2.75 over 100. So I move the decimal point to two places to the left. One, two, and I obtain 0 0.0275. For the last part, 3 to 5th percent, I have to convert it into a decimal number. So 3 to 5th, if you still remember, you have learned in the chapter fractions, the part dealing with equivalent fractions. So 2 fifth is equivalent to 4 over 10. Now 3 2 fifth percent is same as 3 4 over 10 percent, which gives me 3.4 percent. So I have to convert this percentage symbol now. This gives me 3.4 over 100. So dividing by 100 means moving the decimal point to two units to the left. And this gives me 0 0.034. So now we are going to have a look at word problems involving percentages. Let us consider the first example. In a class of 40 students, 45% are boys. Find the number of girls in the class. So let us have a look at the solution. Remember 45% was boys. So we have two different ways of solving this problem. Let us have a look at the first method. So number of boys will be 45 over 100 times 40. Because we have 40 students in the class and the percentage representing number of boys was 45%, that's why we have 45 over 100 times 40. And after simplifying, we can see that we have 18 boys. So if in a class of 40 students, we have 18 boys, now, to find the number of girls, I just have to do 40 minus 18, which gives me 22. This is the first method. Now, let us have a look at the second method. So, here we are using a visual representation. This will help you to see visually what is happening. So, you can see in blue, we have 45%, which represents the number of boys. Because in a class of 40 students, which is being represented by 100%, I can therefore find the percentage representing the girls. So 100% minus 45% will give me 55%, which is representing the percentage of girls in the class. So, 
to find the number of girls, I just have to find 55% of 40. That is 55 over 100 times 40, which gives me 22. So you can see we have two different ways of finding the solution to this problem. Now let us have a look at its second example. Robin scored 30 marks out of 50 in mathematics and his sister Rita scored 14 marks out of 20 in English. The first part Calculate their respective percentage and compare their results. Part B, who has performed better? So, let us have a look at the important information in this question. Robin scored 30 marks out of 50, while Rita has scored 14 marks out of 20. So, let us see the solution now. Percentage mark obtained by Robin in mathematics will be 30 over 50 times 100%, which after simplification gives me 60%. So Robin has scored 60% in mathematics. Now for Rita, let us see how much she has obtained in English. So 14 over 20 times 100%. And after simplification, I get 70%. So we can see that even though we have two different marks, I mean, in mathematics it was out of 50, and in English it was out of 20, because I have converted both figures in percentage, now I can make a comparison. So we were asked who has performed better, and we can see that Rita has performed better because she has scored 70%, while Robin has scored only 60%. So these are some exercises for you to practice if you have understood the lesson on percentage. So let us see what we have learned in today's lesson. We have learned what is percentage, how to convert percentage to fractions, and how to convert fractions to percentage. We have also learned how to convert a decimal number into percentage, and how to convert a percentage into a decimal number. We have also worked some examples on percentages and a few word problems. I hope you have been able to follow through this lesson and also you have been able to understand the different concepts explained in today's session. Thank you. See you in another program. <music>